welcome to beautiful New York City. Right now we are in Madison Square Park, one of the more beautiful parks in the entire city, especially if you're an architecture lover because you are surrounded by a collection of the most magnificent buildings that you can see in New York, including the two life insurance buildings. We got the MetLife Insurance Building and the New York Life Insurance Buildings right next to each other. That beautiful golden pyramid on top over here and this one that looks like the beautiful clock tower of Venice, San Marco. So let's walk around today and enjoy the beautiful views of New York City. And of course there in the distance is the Flatiron Building, the iconic triangular building of New York. I'm Ariel, this is Urbanist. Let me know where you're watching from. So welcome everyone to beautiful Madison Square. I love this park. It's located around 23rd Street, 5th Avenue and Broadway. And it's just heaven here. Um, I think New York City can't get better than this. And a lot of people actually don't venture here. I say maybe you're passing by the bus if you're a tourist or you might be seeing the Flatiron. But I would recommend taking your sweet time walking around this park. So here is a new sculpture that popped out recently. I don't know too much about it, but it does look very interesting. Let me know your thoughts. Oh, I like the mosaic on here. Looks like a huge hoop skirt with a woman that has like Princess Leia type side buns, but taken to a whole new level. That's fascinating. Jam says you have more videos of Edinburgh. Jam, hey, welcome. Yeah, I have plenty of videos of Edinburgh. Uh, look into YouTube, go to playlists, and click on the Scotland playlist, and you'll see all the live videos from Edinburgh. And on shorts, just search Edinburgh Urbanist, and I have a few up. Probably will be posting more in the near future. Anytime you're curious about city, I've covered maybe 30 cities at this point. Just on YouTube is the easiest place to search. Search Urbanist and the name of the city and something will most likely pop up. So let me know what you think. Let's zoom in on the mosaic here. Hello, Reggie. Hello, Gwen. Hello, Melody. Hello, Chris. Hello, Edward. Hello, Trisha. Hello, uh, Katrina. Hello, Cherry. Hello, Adriana. Hello, touring different places. My so-called retirement, I see you here. Welcome, man. Uh, hello, uh, Isa, Denise, Mark, Ron, Adam, Janina. We have a lot of people tuning in. Pokemon, Hannah. Ooh, Hannah, nice to see you here. I haven't seen you in a while. Hello, Jennifer. Hello, Xavier. Adrian, TJ, nice to see you here. Sue, Tater Tots, Jambo, Ray and Nett, Nader and Mater, nice. Athletic says, you are back. Missed the live videos. I Indeed, I am back. I missed the live videos as well. So I thought to go back live. You know, I was going to do some work today doing short videos, but I don't know, I wasn't feeling it. Uh, so I just went shopping today. A nearby store called Todd Snyder. I actually want to figure out a way to work with them because I actually really love their clothes um, and then um, I'm writing postcards so if you are a mega urbanist which we have many tuning in Nader Marianne um, unfortunately I wasn't able to send postcards this January but I will be sending postcards for February and then moving forward there'll be something special to make up for January stay tuned let me know if you have any questions about New York let's walk around so here's the huge dog park. This, this dog park is completely new. I think it only opened maybe a few months ago. It was under construction for about a year or two. Hello, Laureen. Hello, Katrina. Hello, Christine says, you the man. Oh, welcome. Welcome. Hello, are you, uh, Sylvia says, <laughs> how's apartment hunting? <laughs> Sylvia, I got admit, it's pretty tough. Um, here in New York, you can do two things. You can sublease and you can rent or you can buy. Um, 
I am subleasing. I won't share any more details beyond that, but uh, when it comes to renting an apartment, oh my god, it is very tough in New York. Well, at least I'm having a tough time. Maybe it's just bad luck. <laughs> I love that this dog park has like a hill. <laughs> and I think the dogs are loving it. Bree says, I don't feel like w working today either. Yeah. So this to me felt like a lazy Friday. Oh, got some butt sniffing action. <laughs> Almo says squatting is more affordable. Indeed, Almo, indeed it is. <laughs> Chris says, uh, hey, I can help you. Hey, if, if anyone here is a real estate agent based in New York, do let me know. Reach out to me in the private message, uh, Urbanist Facebook or Instagram direct message. My Instagram is Urbanist Live. Or if you are a landowner, even better, reach out to me. Doreen says, we've had a very mild winter. We have had a very mild winter. Uh, it is pretty chilly today, but even then, it is much warmer than usually it is on February. So I am shocked that it is this warm. So here, now this area is under construction. Wow, this dog park is huge. Extends all the way down there. Hey, Joanne says King of the Hill. Yeah, yeah. Basically, the dogs can play King of the Hill or uh, capture the fortress. They got to do also like a capture the flag type of deal for the dogs. Just make that dog part into a first person shooter. No real guns. No, no shooting, of course. Just the same type of games. Hello, Doreen. Welcome. Nice to see you here. Hey, Ron. Hello, Susie. Uh, Susie says, I'm depressed this winter because it's warm. And we have Susie also from Edinburgh. We have the multiple Susies. So yeah, feel free to ask me any questions. I'm just going to wander around today. I hope uh, people are finding good live videos to watch instead. Uh, there's plenty of awesome live streamers here in New York like New York City Walking Show. He's doing really well. He's been blowing up recently. Walk, Ride, Fly. No, 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 no. Actually, let me say his name more in his tone of voice. Walk, Ride, Fly. <laughs> He's really good. I love that he covers coffee like I do. Action Kid pops up in New York City all the time. He also is in Miami. Let me know what other live streamers. There's Yo Ange. Really cool woman. I like how she's covering New York. Uh, she's covering a different side of New York. James and Carla. I'm talking, most of these people are, are all of them are on, on YouTube only. Hey, Trish says, so good to see you live. It's been a while. Yeah, it has been a while. Walks in Wall Street. Yeah, he is very interesting combination of finance and also walking. Dutch Moss, oh man, Dutch Moss knows his history. I, I've posted so far one video of Dutch Moss, but stay tuned, there will be more short videos. Bagels and Walks as S feels. I haven't seen him yet, but that's awesome. Panagiotis, welcome. We got Danette and Anthony as well. Oh, that's awesome. It's Danette's birthday tomorrow. Danette and Anthony, cool New York City couple. Also doing very interesting sides of New York on live video. Hello, George. Wow, we got a lot of people tuning in. Daryl says, have you ever done Billionaire's Row? Yeah, I have um, I have one video where I talk a lot about the history of Billionaire's Row. That's a uh, search for Billionaire's Row Urbanist. Otherwise, I have a few short videos of Billionaire's Row. One, I got access to Central Park Tower and I've been wanting to post my video of Steinway Tower. So stay tuned, I'll pop up soon. Sylvia says, I like your history talk, so I'm so glad. Right there is one Madison. That is a gorgeous apartment building. I would love to live there. 
Hey, contrast, can you peek into Italy? Italy, this one particularly, kind of sucks for live video because it's very poor service, that building. But I'll point out where Italy is. It's in this building. I actually really love it. If people don't know what Italy is. It's a Italian market and they do an excellent job of providing great food, uh, groceries, uh, pre-made food, sandwiches, uh, great por porchetta and chicken and things like that. Great, great place. Mika says, good to see you live. Oh, thank you so much, Mika. Adriana says, great fresh pasta. Oh yes, which I have partaken in recently. You can say that New York is a Big Apple. Here we have Earl the Squirrel finding apples in the Big Apple. Susie says, I think it's time you bring us all coffee <laughs> and cake. What park is this, says Bobby? Madison Square Park. It's funny how squirrels, when they're running across trees, sound like little cockroaches. It's almost the same sound. But of course, very different animal. I'd rather hang out with the squirrel than the cockroach. Stefan, you're coming to New York City in May. Wow, that's awesome, Stefan. You're gonna enjoy it. Adam says, do squirrels like nuts or apples better? I think nuts is what they mostly survive on. Apple, they'll, they'll grab anything they can eat, but I think uh, nuts is the primary. So right here is the Shake Shack. Any awesome, uh, any awesome proposal spots in the city, says Pablo. Uh, one of the more famous proposal spots in New York City is a restaurant called One by Land, Two by Sea, if I'm correct. It's one of the older restaurants in all of New York. And it's very fancy, very beautiful. It's in an old townhouse in Greenwich Village. Aaron Burr used to dine there all the time. So that's to illustrate how old it is. Um... I've never been there personally, but I would say a classic proposal spot is that building right there, the super tall one that you're seeing there in the distance, the Empire State Building. Nothing beats a good proposal in the Empire State Building. And that huge antenna spire of the Empire State Building, struck by light lightning about 23 times per year, meaning that if you get lucky and you come go up there right before or right after a storm, where the static electricity is high. If you kiss someone, literal sparks will go between your lips. Oil says uh, the rainbow room. I haven't been there either, but yeah, that would probably make a great spot. Top of the rock is an amazing spot. The edge, which is the top of Hudson Yards. I would say maybe not One World Trade Center. So yeah, maybe not One World Trade Center because of course it has a, a little bit of a tragic history and that that observation deck is probably the least romantic out of the five we have now. If you want to learn more, go to urbanist.live slash guide. I list out all the observation decks, which one to choose. They're all good for different reasons. And yes, I do mention which ones are the best for romance and dating. And then uh, I have a lot more to that guide. Best pizza, uh, food, a lot of different things. Uh, best neighborhoods to visit. Urbanist.live slash guide. $29.99 digital soul guide that's updated periodically so you can get the best of New York. And if you're looking to book a hotel, go to book.justwander.com slash at Ariel Vieira or write exclamation point hotels right now on YouTube and the link will pop up. If anyone could write down the link, that'd be awesome. You can get up to 70% off your hotels and I get a commission as well uh, because I have access to the corporate deals, which is not available on the other websites. Book.justwander.com slash at Ariel Vera. Yes, there we go.
that's that's it someone said cool sunglasses oh thank you so much i appreciate that right there i'll keep the link on for a few minutes and roy thank you so much for putting the link the link uh for the guide is urbanist.live slash guide shake shack i love shake shack if you're looking for a good burger this is a great place to go it's a bit chilly so there's they took away the heated seating here I, I don't know why it used to be nice that they had heat and heated seating but otherwise any other time of year it's a great place to visit have a nice burger outside hey s fields we have s fields in the end as well welcome stay tuned short videos are coming of this building right over here otherwise i have a long one hour long live video history tour of Madison Square Park. So search Madison Square Park Urbanist. It'll pop up. It's the one called Madison Square Park Architecture Tour. Esfield says, I'm recovering from a pretty nasty flu. Oh, no. Hello, Colleen. Greg says, are you live streaming again? Uh... <laughs> No promises, I'm just uh, just popping in, basically. Popping in, still taking a break from live streaming. Just popping in, saying hello. Me, having a cup of tea. Tracy says, uh, we had burgers there in August last summer. Cool, yeah, that's awesome. I'm glad you visited it. Some people are a bit underwhelmed when they come to uh, Trick Shack. I heard from Ron, he said that the Philippines Trick Shack has been a bit underwhelming. I can't speak for other uh, countries, but when it comes to New York City, don't expect like a restaurant type of burger, but do expect a massive improvement over the fast food burger. So it's somewhere in between a McDonald's or Burger King and a restaurant burger. It's like right in the middle between those two. <laughs> what goes on in the Empire State Building? Is it offices, says Michelle? Yeah, mostly offices at this, still at this moment. All right, so one more time, I'm gonna keep the link, just about 30 seconds more. Save that link, screenshot this right now, uh, because when you need to book your hotel, check the prices there. There's a very good chance you're gonna find way cheaper prices here than on other booking sites or even directly on the hotel site. So screenshot it now, right there. This is Madison Square Park. Ooh, it's chilly today. It's the coldest it's been in a while. Because it's been a really, really warm winter. Taking place in New York City for the first time, ladies and gentlemen. Screen of six. I can't show it too much. I want to try it, trust me, Susie. But every time I go, I've tried a few times, so just spontaneously, during the middle of the weekday. Peter Luger, if people don't know, is a very famous old steakhouse in Brooklyn, Williamsburg, Brooklyn. I've tried a few times, and I think one time I was on my video, just spontaneously go during the middle of the weekday. Most of the restaurant was empty. And they tell me, no, you have to, tell me no you have to make reservations and I told them hey guys like half of your restaurant is empty and they were like nope reservations and I check if there's a reservation available for the day of no nope, apparently there isn't it's happened to me a few times it's very frustrating I hate when restaurants do that uh, and it's not like the type of restaurant that needs to really portion their foods correctly it's a steakhouse 
they all need to do that. So that's why I have a little bit of a gripe with Peter Luger. Let me know if you've experienced that in some restaurants. This happens in New York City, happens sometimes in other cities. Matthew says, don't you have to make reservations now in general in New York City? No, only super trendy, popular restaurants tend to get really filled up quickly. But generally you can walk in to a massive majority of restaurants here in New York City without, without any reservation. Danette says, I hate that as well. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's annoying, especially when the restaurant is empty. It's, it's annoying. I get it if it's like super popular, but if it's empty, it's... What's the point? They're just trying to seem cool. That could be a, most likely the case. Tracy says, we like Chick-fil-A though. <laughs> yeah, Chick-fil-A. You know, I've only had it once in my life. I gotta try it again. <laughs> A lot of people do love it. I actually might try a Chick-fil-A later today. It's always full. All right. People look freezing. Yeah, it's cold today. It's about 40. No, it's a little bit less, like 30 something degrees Fahrenheit. I'm dressed very warm, but my hands are freezing. I did not bring gloves. I haven't used gloves in a while. So, hey, Henry says, good to see you live. Lizette says, I'm going to Peter Luger next Sunday for a birthday dinner. Yes, but do make that reservation, so that's awesome. Because I've been to Peter Luger's twice in my life. I loved them both times. <laughs> Almo says, have you seen any celebrities recently? Oh, that's a good question. I don't think so. I haven't seen any celebrity. I'm trying to think. All right, let's walk into Italy. So Italy, let's see if there's good service here. Ah, so I was muted. Uh, sorry about that. Uh, I had to mute because of the uh, music. So yeah, Italy has terrible cell phone reception, which sucks. That's why I haven't been able to cover it, but I did get an inside access to the downtown location many years ago. So search that old vlog, Italy Urbanist, and you'll pop up on YouTube. Facebook kind of sucks for searching videos. So always go on YouTube to search for my videos. And usually it's fairly easy to do so. Um, why well, I put a lot of my titles tend to be the city name, uh, sometimes the neighborhood name, especially if it's a big city like New York or London, and then uh, a major landmark name, and then sometimes you can search um, P, um, 
food types like pizza, bagels, burgers, and if you add that with Urbanus, you'll find a lot of videos. Italy is overpriced. It is expensive, but I think it is worth it. Uh, you might save for the quality of food, it is worth it, in my opinion. But yes, it is expensive. You might be able to save money if you go to like more local small pasta shops, which there's a few, but you have to go to specific neighborhoods. So here, right here is a Lego store right next Trish says, is that coat from London? No, the coat I'm wearing is Todd Snyder. Uh, ooh, Harry Potter. Yeah, but it, does, it, it is in that same style, of kind of a London style coat, yeah. It's called a car coat, so it's a fairly common type of coat in the UK. Oh, the Eiffel Tower, how I miss traveling. It's been ages. I'm getting that travel itch once again. Hey, Audi, nice to see you here, welcome. Neto Gino says, uh, my, my imaginary apartment is right here. Awesome. Ian says, will you go to Uruguay? I think at some point I would love to go to Uruguay. I love Uruguayan food. It's very interesting. Um, but no, I haven't been there yet. Mika says, oh, your European vlogs were amazing. I'm so glad you love my European videos. Hey, Dutch Maz, welcome. Check out Dutch Maws for a lot of coverage. He does all around New York, but he does especially a lot of Southern Brooklyn. It's an underserved area on live video. So check out Dutch Maws. He's gonna appear in a few more short videos about Coney Island. So do check my shorts. They'll pop up on your feed. Uh, sometimes you can just go directly to my channel. I also post them on Urbanist, live on Instagram, Ariel here on TikTok and Urbanist Live on Facebook. Dawn says, it's my first live. Hey, Dawn. Dawn, have, are you the same Dawn that has been watching for a while? Are you uh, live on Facebook now as well, says Trish? Yes, I am. But if you're a Facebook viewer and you want to watch live videos when they travel again, which I don't know when that's gonna happen, do follow me on YouTube because the moment I'm outside of the US, it will only be YouTube only. Just to avoid getting banned from Facebook again. Facebook does not like when you switch locations. Vincentus says, have you been to any Baltic countries? I did. You know, the only live stream I ever did that I got <laughs> zero viewers <laughs> it was a bit traumatizing uh was Tallinn Estonia the beautiful old town Tallinn actually has excellent internet reception they have some of the highest internet speeds in the world if I'm correct in Estonia uh, but when I live streamed there I think it was either off hours or something like that I ended up getting zero viewers only time that's ever happened so, yes, I have streamed from the Baltics, but no one saw it. Ed says, uh, New York looks great. New York is great, yeah. Then Anthony says, that sounds traumatic. Yes. <laughs> As a live streamer, it is a bit traumatic. Especially, uh, at that time, I was already established live streamer for about a year. So, if you're already a live streamer who's already accumulated an audience, 
it is a bit traumatic seeing a live stream be at zero. Well, I go back, Estonia was interesting. I might take another day trip to Estonia. I would love to go back to Helsinki. So if I ever do go back to the Baltics, it'd probably be from a trip where I'm in Helsinki. Susie says, why do you post uh, short sequentially? Um, I'd rather not, it's um, due to I'd rather edit when I feel like editing that particular video. Um, and then, yeah, shorts to me is a very intuitive thing. I kind of just do it as I feel like doing it. And also edit as I'm interested in the subject at the moment on hand. And then sometimes I just wait for ideas to pop up because not every video is so clear cut to edit. Sometimes they're a little bit more, the story is just a bit more complicated. It wasn't done in one single video that I have to just kind of figure out how to edit it together. So it's always different. And then um, I'm working with three editors at the moment and they are editing also their own versions of the videos. So that all adds up to the videos appearing basically random order, but every video is an individual story so i don't post multiple part stories on the short video so don't worry uh, that you won't be really missing anything every video tells the entire complete story that i wanted to tell beautiful flower shop Great place to buy flowers for your hubby. Impress him. Dawn says, do you mind if I share you, share you out to my audience? Yes, sharing is encouraged with any of my videos. Short videos, live videos, vlogs, and photos. It is encouraged, yeah, do share. Sharing is indeed caring. Did you once do a video about the green scaffolding? I did, uh, but I didn't talk about the reason for it. So no, I haven't done a history video on scaffolding yet. Stay tuned. It is a very interesting story. Actually, just might do the, one of those soon. The streets are super quiet, says Edith. What happened? Oh. Edith, we don't talk about what happened. <laughs> Nothing happened. No. no, no, no. Don't, don't ask that. <laughs> I'm joking, Edith. <laughs> Nothing happened. Uh, it's just this. It's a, it's a bit chilly, and uh, it's during the middle of the day. So this particular street on Broadway area in Flatiron doesn't even get too busy. Also, kind of January and February tends to be a little bit slower months for New York. So New York feel will feel quieter these two months of the year. And then uh, someone said, Coco said that schools are closed. Yes, that might be the other factor. Thank you. Um, due to President's Week. So, also, people might actually be off their jobs, too. Hey, um, do, uh, Duane, I see you here. Welcome. And we got Duane as well. Carpenter Scaffold here. Hey, are you based in New York, Duane? Uh, if you're a uh, carpenter for scaffolding in New York do let me know um, and if you want to appear in a short video I would love to cover someone who makes the scaffolding here in New York City I'm very curious about it so if 
anyone out there knows someone or you are that person, do reach out to me in a uh, private message on Facebook or on Instagram, Urban It's Live. And Laureen, wow. Oh, wow. Laureen with a whopping $50 super chat saying this is a wonderful Friday. Thank you so much for this live. Oh, Laureen, I'm so happy. Thank you so much. Um, everyone, huge round of hearts to Laureen. Mahalo. I really appreciate that huge super chat. And um, I hope you're enjoying the videos. I haven't been posting live videos, but I hope you're enjoying the short videos and also the bonus Patreon videos. I haven't posted one in a while, but there will be a few bonus Patreon videos coming soon. What's the temperature? It's about like 40 uh, degrees, 30 something degrees. It's pretty, pretty chilly. Gwen, nice to see you here, welcome. So beautiful architecture in the stretch between 23rd Street and 14th Street on Broadway. Great architecture. Just always be sure to look up and bump into your fellow New Yorker because you're so distracted by the gorgeous architecture. Wow. Okay, thank you so much for the super chat. Uh, $24, 24 euro. I appreciate that. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you so much. That's so awesome. Round of hearts to K as well for a whopping super chat. Joanne says the Moxie Chelsea is a nice hotel. Yeah, I never stayed at a Moxie. I've been tempted to cover a hotel soon in New York again. Let me know who I should reach out to. Uh, to try to cover one of them but the moxie's bars the hotel bars at the moxie's are very comfy very nice and during the day they're very quiet at night it's a different story they tend to get very full and packed but during the day it's a nice place to kind of sit down read work do whatever you want to at the moxie hotels there's a few of them in new york city S Fields, nice to see you here. Will me, welcome. Yeah. Melody says, I stay at the Moxie in Paris. Who hell was that? Do let me know. Oh, I love the buildings here. Gorgeous buildings just everywhere here in New York City. And NW says, I'm loving the Leon assassin look. <laughs> Oh my god, yes. Uh, I, I tend to inadvertently do that look a lot. Yeah, he, he does have a similar jacket to one right. This is a coffee shop recommendation, also pastry shop recommendation, Olenstein. They're Copenhagen Baker now. Uh, have a few of them in New York City. I think they have two. There's one by Brian Park. Really great place. They tend to have comfy seating. Never tends to be too packed, which in my opinion is a good thing. So I'm not sure why this happens, uh, but yes, <laughs> this, this has happened many times that I inadvertently look like Leon the Professional. Uh, let me know what's the English name of the, I mean the American name of the movie. I think it's called The Professional in America. Uh, great movie, but it's not my intention uh, to pull off that look. It just happens that I'm wearing a beanie and sunglasses and the silver type of jacket. Just pure coincidence. But no, I'm not carrying any weaponry at all. And no, I'm not picking up a very young apprentice. Mr. Benson should do a prequel, says Almo, with, with me as the star. <laughs> What's his name? Gerard Depardieu, I think is his name. Great actor. Roy says, yeah, the, the American version was called The Professional, yeah. So here's a gelato slash chocolate recommendation. 
right by Union Square is Venki. I love these guys, always have amazing chocolates. Great gelato, they have crepes as well. They have crepes that aren't crap, they're really good. Gerardo says one question, so is this time, should it be snowing? Yes, not, it doesn't snow a lot in New York City, but there are heavy snow storms in New York City. So there are many, many times in January and February where a portion of those months will be covered in snow. And it's not because it's snowing daily, but it's more so there's one big storm and you'll see snow uh, on the streets for a week or two. So this has been a very warm winter where we have not had not one snowstorm with snow staying on the ground for more than an hour. It has been shocking to say the least. It's almost like if the climate is changing. But it might be coincidence as well. Hey! Ariel Vieira left a super chat. And Bobby as well. Thank you, Bobby, for the $2 super chat. And Ariel, thank you so much for the... There's a kid screaming because there's a, this graffiti art that says screaming spot. And the kid has taken it to heart. It's great. Hey, Ariel, that's my dad tuning in. Thank you so much, dad. My dad has the same name. Uh, thank you so much for the $20 super chat. That's so kind of you to do so. I appreciate you. You might know him as the executive producer of many of the car tours from 2020. I would recommend re-watching those videos. Go back on YouTube around 2020. I did a lot of tours with my dad. I was on the passenger seat and we drove through empty parts of New York City. Um, and it was a very interesting perspective of New York, which we will never get again. Hopefully never get again. And you end up seeing New York City from a whole different lens. And it made me uh, realize, wow, those were very special videos that I ended up doing back then. Here's the farmer's market. It's pretty quiet today. I'm kind of shocked. I gotta buy some bread. All right, go to self. Buy bread. One amazing live stream was the Halloween one, says Panajota. So I'm so glad you enjoyed the live stream. Yeah, I've done many Halloween streams, so I'm so glad you enjoyed this past one. Why is the farmer's market so empty? It's only like 3 p.m. She Wolf has the best cake. Oh, cool. Oh, we got Street Fight here. This is what happens. West Side Story is a real, real thing here in New York City. Wow, Mr. Bot, thank you so much for the 100 Norwegian Corona, which I think might be about 10 bucks. Thank you so much. All right, we're going to see a Street Fight over here. Um, they're going to break out into song and dance, do ballet moves as they uh, threaten to endanger each other's lives. So thank you so much for the 100 Norwegian Krona. Appreciate that. Thank you, thank you. Mr. Ra, hope you're doing well. Susan says, how do we super chat? On Facebook, it stars on multi-streaming right now to three platforms. Facebook, it stars. Twitch, I forgot what they have on Twitch. And YouTube, it's super chat. So on Facebook, if you want to leave a tip, uh, leave some stars or go to paypal.me slash arielvira and let me know if you left one. I'm happy to shout you out. So Joanne says Saturday markets are much uh, busier. They are, but I'm, uh, this is shockingly empty for, for, um, for a farmer's market in the afternoon. Oh, it smells good. Hey, Wendy says I missed you. Hey, Wendy, welcome back. Hope you're doing well, Wendy. Uh, the Stars feature isn't working for me. Try it on my cell phone, Trish. Yeah, sometimes you might need to update your Facebook app. But always feel free to tune in on YouTube, Urbanist Exploring Cities. Joanne says new glasses. I did indeed get new glasses from Warby Parker. 
Susie says, buy something for your dinner. Yes, I think I will. I'm gonna take a trip soon, upstate, and make some sandwiches. Ariel says, 2020 tour videos of almost empty New York City. Watched them all. Yes, do watch them all. Actually, one thing I could try, if anyone's interested in watching them, I can like somehow re-edit those videos into shorter format, uh, empty New York, and maybe that'll be interesting. Let me know if you will love to see that. Hey, Panajotis is joining on the Super Chat train. He says, Super Chat train, choo choo. Thank you so much, Panajotis, for the Super Chat. 20 whopping euro. That covers a loaf of bread. Thank you so much. I will be buying a sourdough loaf with those 20 euro to enjoy <laughs> so I can have some sustenance later tonight. I think I have a little bit of butter. Yes, some butter and bread. Ooh. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Hey, Joe says, I'm loving the shorts. Great editing. Oh, I'm so glad you're enjoying the editing. Yeah, the majority of shorts are edited by me, but I'm working with three editors that have um, emulated a little bit of my style. Edith says, uh, baking bread, does it cost $20 in, in New York City? I'm exaggerating a little bit, but it is pretty expensive. Yeah, a loaf of sourdough bread can go anywhere from $6 to about 12 is generally the price. Here at the farmer's market, I think it'll be closer to $6, 6 7 $8 for a loaf of bread. Kay says, make sure you get Irish butter. Oh, yes, of course, carry gold. Hey, Gary says, now that Bold and Bankrupt left Russia, there's space for a new blog vlogger to go to Russia. Is this the Buddha, says Jay Villa? No, this is Mahatma Gandhi. Mohandas K. Gandhi. The man who freed India. And along with that, Pakistan and Bangladesh. Usually people knit them. A scarf for a sweater during the winter time but it hasn't been that cold so he has no sweater at the moment but if you're lucky you'll come here and someone will have a nice knitted sweater for him dawn dawn just became a member on youtube oh thank you so much dawn i appreciate that uh for anyone becoming a member or a patron patreon.com slash urbanist you do get access to bonus videos uh, I have a lot of old bonus videos up there, so just scroll back if you just became a member and you'll see a bunch of videos that haven't ever been posted yet publicly. And then there's be a few more popping up. I love Kerrygold Butter. Yes. Uh, who said this? I agree, Anthony. Yes. Roy, welcome. It smells like oregano. All right, everyone, I'm sticking around for about five more minutes. Feel free to ask me questions. I'm so glad people are tuning in, enjoying the videos. Uh-oh, my ride has come. Can't keep them waiting too long. So ask me questions before they uh, take it down the ladder so I can go up to my helicopter. KK says, wow, great quality live stream. Oh, I'm so glad, man. You're enjoying it. Thank you so much. Wow. Great quality live stream. I'm so glad you're enjoying it. Yeah. I'm glad you're enjoying that. Do live stream in HD quality. Guys, my ride is leaving, so feel free to ask questions now. It's getting a little bit impatient. Camilla says, what do you think of Tribeca? I love Tribeca. Um, Tribeca is awesome. It's a great neighborhood. Uh, if you have the budget to stay in Tribeca, do so. It is, you'll need a very high budget. But if you do it, oh my god, it's amazing. Uh, great architecture nonetheless. Uh, to visit it, it's free. You can just walk around. 
it's a great neighborhood to walk around and admire amazing architecture. Uh, there's a few great coffee shops, a few great restaurants. For brunch, I would recommend going to Bubby's in Tribeca for a great brunch. And Tribeca is the neighborhood where you'll have the highest chance of seeing a celebrity. So for anyone who out there who kind of wants to increase their chances of seeing a very famous public figure, Tribeca is the number one neighborhood. Number one neighborhood. I would say number two might be Williamsburg and number three might be Soho, give or take. Maybe Upper East Side. Hello, Ron, welcome. Hello, Janice, nice to see you here. Where do you go out for food? Mr. Bot asks. I'm gonna add this to the guide very soon. So go to urbanist.live slash guide if you want a full guide to New York City. My top favorite fast casual places is Dig In. The best Dig In is actually close to here on 13th Street on 4th Avenue. I do recommend them. They're all around New York City as well. Fields Good Chicken is amazing for nice rotisserie chicken with mashed potatoes, sweet potatoes, carrots. Oh, I love them. Rice as well. Dos Toros, great place for uh, burritos. Love them. And um, I would say those top three. There's a lot of great food options all around New York City, but those are the chains here in New York. And then I go to some co I go coffee shops that have food as well. I love them, especially for brunch. So I love In Common Cafe. It's on my New York City guide. And there's also Suited, also on my New York City guide in downtown Manhattan. How's your sleep, says Wendy. Oh, it's, re it's really well. It's great sleep. It's great sleep. No eye bags whatsoever. Oh, yeah. Oh wait, actually I might have, oh, I have a little bit of eye bags. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> uh, how do you learn so much about history, says Vicentas. I uh, read. <laughs> Pretty much that's, that's the gist. I, I read a lot. Um, the Smith is a nice chain too. That's a restaurant, yeah. It's a great, great restaurant chain. Nice jacket, says Joe. Oh, I'm so glad, Joe. Thank you so much. How do you, um, let's see, what else? Any upcoming philosophical chats? Not at the moment, just purchase your ebook on Amazon. Looking forward to reading it. Steve, thank you so much for purchasing my ebook. That's awesome. Um, thank you, thank you so much. I wrote a sci-fi short novella called R Retro Wave. Retro Wave, one word. So search Retro Wave by Ariel Vieira, which is my name, and you'll see it. I'll pop up. Most of, I remember New York City's getting flipped off. Uh, <laughs> this is Jerry. Oh no, Jerry. Yeah, it happens. I, I, I've, it happened to me many times doing live videos. So yeah, it happens. New York, you have to have a bit thicker skin. So when you're in New York, just, just have a thick skin. Just be sure not take things too personally. Um, it's a big city, so you'll encounter a wide variety of people, from the nicest people in the world to the meanest. Uh, and then two downright criminals. So yeah, you'll literally encounter the entire spectrum. Uh, but luckily the majority of New York is nice. People are, they're not nice, but they are kind. I think that's a better way of putting it. You're doing different types of videos, just mostly uh, short videos at the moment. And good to see you today. It brings back good memories from the past. Oh, I'm so glad you're enjoying them. Uh, good to see you too. You're... LH, nice to see you here. Are you heading to a jazz cafe for a poetry slam? Might as well at this point. <laughs> Take us to a Thai restaurant. Thai restaurant is good. I love Thai restaurant. I love pineapple fried rice. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you want the full New York City guide, I know a lot of people travel during the summertime. Go to urbanist.live slash guide. And if you're going to book a hotel at any moment, save this link right now. That's book.justwander.com slash at Ariel Vera. So right now, write exclamation point hotels and you'll get the full link and then save it right now so you can have it and you can um, use it when you book your hotel up to 70% off 
and then I also get a commission off the hotels. So it works off, works for both of us. AB Lux Girl says, I got the guy. I'm so happy you got the guy. That's awesome to hear. And see you soon, says Wendy. Yeah. Bree says, thank you so much. Brother Silas needs a tobacco pipe and some red wine. Ooh, yes. Some red wine. Oh, I appreciate that. There we go. I'm going to put the link one word last time. Very important. You'll get better deals than you would in Booking.com, Xperia, uh, Expedia, many others. Even some direct hotels, you'll get better deals right here because I have access to the corporate deals right here. Screenshot this right now. I'm going to do a, a goofy face. Screenshot it right now. <laughs> you can save it for later. The, the link, not, not me. That's, that's just weird. That's just weird. Save the link. <laughs> hey, have a nice evening. Thank you so much. Live stream every Friday, says Steven. No, 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 no regular live streams for the meanwhile. But do watch my short videos. Hi, everyone. Thank you so much for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed this live walk. We walked a whopping, whopping nine blocks. It took us one hour. I swear I walk faster than that. I swear. <laughs> but in all, re in all reality, it only take you about five minutes to walk this distance. Uh, we just took our sweet time. Keep being awesome and always keep on exploring. Oh, camera's too close. No, no. <laughs> Have a good day, everyone. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.